Yo, what's up, guys? This is Cyfax here, and this is gonna be part three of the Road to Nuclear, the third game in a row where I was going for this. And believe it or not, it's a turbine dom where we're dominating. Well, we were dominating, but we're down by 40. Um, this first round, when you spawn bottom C and you just have to truck uphill, things can get a little rowdy. And, you know, I'm even after the first round, but. Turbine and drone are one of those maps where you can either not die or you'll die a lot. And the first round was a die a lot kind of round. I mean, when you have party members getting two pieces in the kill cam, that's not a good sign. Um, but, you know, things turn around. And we spawn high side, which means cash money for me. And my opening round in this map is actually to catch sure A. Yes, it is, because I don't go straight for B. I'm a man. Huh, at least I think I am. I just go on top of the plane. I'm like, yeah, contest me. There's one. There's some kachunks. And you know, that kid's full red. He's probably hiding in the corner. I'm asking for these people to snipe me. I want, I'll test their sniper versus my either FAL or SMR or M8 anytime. Um, this is like an easy ass long shot map. You know, if you need long shots, don't back out <laughs> when you see turbine. Uh, I know a few of you like to do that. Nice little two piece. I mean, at this point, this gun is just a four round M16. At least I want it to be. And we have complete map control. Yet, we were getting smashed on the first round, so host quits. Host was mad yet. Um, I mean, this is. this. They should just rename this map to high ground, so, I mean. Spawning at A flag is just an obvious retarded advantage, and this kid gets embarrassed. And then I have eight bullets left, I get my V sat with my knife out, cap the flag, doing everything. And I pick up a red dot PDW. This thing actually wasn't too bad. Not because it was a red dot, but because PDW is just a strong ass weapon. There's my Merciless, there's number 11. I'm about 580 points away from a VSAT now. The thing I like about counter EV is that it's literally the halfway point to the VSAT. So you get a nice, uh, you know where you're standing once you get the counter EV. And I'm already about to pick up the VSAT just from getting assists. And if, uh, yeah, a few kills right there. Pick up an ACOG MTAR. That's not going to see any play. Boom! VSAT. We already got a VSAT out. We're doing work. Pick up a nice little strafe kill on this guy, kid. I suggest always strafing to the left because aiming to the right is difficult. I mean, if you've ever tried to whip no scope somebody to the right, it's a lot harder than trying to do it to the left. So you always want to move left when you uh, when you when you have a one v one like that in tight to tight quarters. And we're just smacking these kids at this point. I feel bad for them. No, I don't really at all. Um, Warthog's out, so, you know, a few of them are going to truck into the building. And I'm not necessarily pre-firing, but, you know, I'm getting the job done. And I had to run into the building because I knew I was getting flanked, and I pop out, of course. There's my Relentless. Pick it up. There's number 21. Got plenty of time. Not going to contest that ever with an SMG, unless I had, like, a Monofer 2 freaking... UMP 45. That would just be a dumb, dumb car right there. Probably should have picked up that M27. Looking back on this, pick up another V set. And anybody want to guess what's going to happen? Anybody? 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 Oh no, they're running in motion. I fucked that up. My sight disappeared. Where'd it go? It's gone forever. So yeah, there's two brutals and a relentless in three games. Just cannot pick up the nuclear in this session. I was fairly mad right there. Like, you mad, bro? 